What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to talk about Far Cry 5. This game has created such controversy for absolutely no reason whatsoever and it has really exposed the mainstream gaming media outlets. Not that they needed to be exposed, but it just shows the hypocrisy and it shows how out of touch with regular people they really are. So Far Cry 5, when it was announced, it was announced that it would take place in rural Montana and it would basically be uh, fo heavily focused on white conservatives. And so the gaming mainstream media automatically assumed that this was going to be a social commentary about how white conservatives that own guns are horrible human beings. And that turned into, well, it's going to be a social commentary on Trump supporters and how they're horrible people. And they were just licking their chops. They were just waiting for this game to come out so they could praise it and talk about how great it's going to be and then talk about the political messaging that goes along with it. And now the game has released and the game doesn't have the social commentaries or the political ideology they were hoping and somehow they are upset about that now and I think it's absolutely hilarious. We've seen GameSpot react to this, we've seen Polygon react to this, we've seen Forbes react to this. It's unbelievable that this is even a topic for a video game and for all accounts and we and at geeksandgamers.com we are currently reviewing Far Cry 5 so our review will be on the site at some point Tony Sin is working on that now um, I can guarantee you one thing and not that I know what Tony's going to say and I'm not going to speak for him I can guarantee you though Tony as a hardcore gamer uh, he will be focusing on it as a video game and not a social commentary piece like the majority of these nut jobs are out here doing right now um, I saw this, uh, so on Forbes they have an article and the title, the title, this is an opinion piece on Forbes, Far Cry 5 is apolitical to the point of absurdity. So he thinks it's absurd that Far Cry 5 does not take a political standpoint. <sighs> My God, man, like how did we get to the point where where we are so, like it's like these people just wake up and race and gender and social commentary is the only thing they think about. It's the first and only thing. They wake up in the morning and they're like, who's racist today? Let me find someone that's racist. This is an actual part of the article on Forbes. The headline is race and gender. You might think that a religious cult in rural Montana might be forced to address issues of race and gender, but simply put, neither exist in the world of Far Cry. Women and men fight alongside one another on both sides of the conflict. Race is literally not mentioned once. How is this a bad thing? Can anybody tell me how this is a negative thing? The, the, the social justice warriors complain and scream about equality. They don't want equality. They don't want true equality. What they want is special treatment. But this is true equality right here. Women and men fight alongside one another on both sides of the conflict. Race is literally not mentioned once. If this, if these things don't play a part in the game, then why are you making a point to talk about it? If it's not in the game, then what is the point of the discussion? Uh, the fact that you want to interject these things into a video game. We are in Looney Tunes world in 2018. These people are out of their minds. Every day I read something that just makes me facepalm even more. But I just women and men fight alongside each other on both sides of the conflict. How is that a bad thing? I think that's fantastic. And I think it's fantastic that neither one of them is, is highlighted based on their gender. Isn't that equality? It is equality. It's not the equality social justice warriors want because they what they want is special treatment. But, man, uh, this game looks great. IGN gave it an 8.9, I believe. I, I All accounts say this game is really good. I am seriously thinking about picking it up. I have played a few of the Far Cry games. Uh, I've never been a big Far Cry player. But this game looks really good. 
and the fact that the uh, g the mainstream gaming media is a little off the hinges right now about it makes it even better. Um, but anyway, like I said, the review will be on geeksandgamers.com by our very own Tony Sin that is in the works. And uh, hopefully everyone checks out the review when it's available. But I just think that this, this is such nonsense. It's such nonsense that the first thing this person thinks about is race and gender when we're talking about what what seems to be a very good video game. Ugh. Anyway, that's today's crazy news. I'll be back later with my review for Ready Player One. I can't wait to see this movie. I'm looking so forward to it. I've heard a lot of good things, and I'm really excited for this movie. So you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later.